Hey, welcome back to Inside Earl of Men's College Basketball right here at Radio Troy Digital Sports. The Quakers off last week, at least through the Thanksgiving Day break, and the coach uh, got them back into practice, what, on Saturday, right? Yep. Yeah, Saturday. Yep. And so they have three games this week. They have Monday, they have Wednesday, they have Saturday. And we'll have, of course, uh, two of those games right here on Radio Troy Digital Sports. All right, I'm going to give you a chance here because last week uh, you held the Eagles out till the end, and I'm going to give you a chance to plug them. You don't have the shirt on this no week? No shirt today. That's all right. But okay. I, I was proud of their effort again this weekend. Yeah, nine, took, nine in a row. Nine in a row. Nine in a row. Now, I live vicariously through them. So that's okay. I'm, uh, my, my mood and, and, and my emotions are directly correlated to whether they win or lose. So. When I mentioned them, you smiled pretty big. Yes. I mean, that's Jerry. You know, coaches don't smile too much, but you <laughs> love that one. So. Yeah, uh, we we don't we don't get a lot of winning, you know, in Philadelphia, yeah. as you know, I'm from Philadelphia. So we yeah. we don't win a lot in Philadelphia. We had the '08 Phillies, and uh, that's it in my lifetime. So yeah. uh, when when a team does pretty well, we we, we hold on tight. I bet so you do. We're very excited. You know, I got to go back, and I'm a little bit older than you are, and I hated the Sixers because mm -hmm. being a Boston fan. Oh yeah, oh, there you my, go. And, we just hated the Sixers. Oh, so yeah. I'm sure you're a little in, you know, the Sixers are better, too. I'm, I'm, I'm very talent, much so. fully part of that process. I trust it wholeheartedly. <laughs> Everything Philadelphia. So we got the, probably Flyers, too, right? Flyers, Phillies, uh, the all. whole thing. You know, right. arena football, the Philadelphia soul. If they have Philadelphia in the name, I'm, I'm, I'm a you big like fan. All right. Yeah, and my Great. son was born in Indiana, but he will be a Philadelphia sports fan. I saw he had a Philly, uh, not a Phillies, but an Eagles shirt on yeah, Eagles, day, so, Yep, yeah. Eagles, and then uh, he, we got him a Sixers shirt. He, he, I will expose him to it. We'll let him decide what he <laughs> wants, but... At home, he knows what he'll be watching. Hey, I know how that exposing thing works. Like, you know, he just says, hey, Philadelphia. Okay, all right, I'll go with it. So, all right, my son's done that for years, yep. too. Coach, uh, last week, Thanksgiving break, mm -hmm. and you said last week you were going to give him the week off, come back in. How did they all respond to coming back, getting their legs back underneath them? Because you have a busy week this week. Yeah, we do. I I'll tell you what, I was really, I was really happy. I was really happy. We ended up practicing on Saturday and yesterday, so this weekend. And uh, our big thing was, you know, you have five days off. Don't don't spend the whole time on your butt. You yeah. know, enjoy your time with your family, rest yourself. But you need to still get into a gym and and, and keep your conditioning up and all that. And they did. You yeah. know, we came back to practice. We had uh, you know tough practices, and they uh, they responded great. Good. You know, so I was really really pleased. Um, it, it makes me feel more comfortable with having gone with that plan, as we yeah. talked about last time. I. You know, I get a lot of sideways looks, like five days off already? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I said, yeah, we're going to give it a go. You know, yeah. in the past, your guy's been worn out. So let's give him a chance to, uh, to rest. And so we'll see. I mean, we have, like you said, we have three games this week. We'll see if it pays dividends in the games. But at least for practice, they practice well. You know, what I like about that is that um, I would imagine they felt kind of rewarded a little bit, right? I mean, I don't know if that sounds kind of odd, but you're thinking, well, that's all I can get in the gym. High school is probably going to be open in their hometown, get up there and play with some of the old players and mm -hmm. stuff. So I would imagine that was probably pretty easy. Yeah, I, I mean, I would hope. Yeah. You know, I would hope. I think the biggest thing was just giving them a chance to go home and just be with family, yeah. being in an environment they grew up in, and um, you not know, feeling like they're, for lack of a better word, trapped here yeah. at school. Um, and as you know, we have players from all over the place. They're not just from you know, Indiana, yeah. they're, they're from everywhere. So give them a chance to go see their, 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 their family and hang out. Um, I think, yeah, maybe that seemed like a reward for them. Um, whatever it was, they came back ready to play, and that's all I care about. All right, busy week, as you said. Uh, you play tonight, yes. you play Wednesday, and you play Saturday. And, by the way, Saturday will be a conference matchup if yep. you get into conference play. We'll talk about this week. As you said, you, you better be ready to go because that's a pretty tough turnaround each and every time. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, so tonight our, uh, is, a, is an away game. Tonight's a really good test for us. Um, we play a really strong Wabash team. Obviously, uh, a team from in-state plays in a conference um, right next to ours. And um, really good team, well coached and um, young, similar to us. They mm -hmm. came at a similar trajectory to us. And uh, they came in our house last year after uh, winter break and where we weren't ready to play. And they kind of, they were on fire and we didn't play great and ended up being kind of a whitewashing. And, um, this year, you know, we, we, we have that in the back of our minds and we know that uh, uh, we need to come ready to play against this team because they could go off for yeah. eight threes and a half or whatever like they did last year. Mm -hmm. So we're, we, we, tonight's going to be a good test. We'll travel to their place. That's a, that's a tough place to play, yeah. you know, at Wabash. And uh, 
that'll really help us and prepare us because, and I'm not trying to look too far ahead, but we have two non, excuse me, two conference matches games next week. Yeah. On the, both are on the road. So this will be a kind of a good test for us on the road, um, weekday game that, that'll help prepare us for, for next week. Um, so we have that one on tonight, which will be a good one. Then we have a home game against Fairhaven Baptist Bible on Wednesday. Um, just, uh, I guess, another good tune-up game to get us prepared for conference. And then uh, first game, first conference game on Saturday against Anderson, who, you know, that's, that's a game where we always get up for, yeah. you know, whenever we play them. And uh, we always, we, I, I said it before and I'll say it again, I, I, I want to win every game we play, yeah. obviously. Yeah. But if you asked me before the season, if you went 0-7 non-conference but made an impact in the conference, made the playoffs and all that, would you be okay with that? And I would say absolutely. You bet. You know, we, we did last year. We started 5-5. Five and five. We did the non-conference thing. We won a bunch of non-conference games and got to the conference, and we just we, we got tired, we got exhausted, we got injured, and we didn't do much. Yeah. And at this point, we want to use all these non-conference games as tune-ups to prepare us for Saturday yeah. and next week. So that's the plan. That's the hope. The reward is the conference. Yes, yeah. that's a great way to you put it. You can play all the non-conference games you want. Still not going to get you qualified for the – NCAA tournament. Exactly. Will. That's yeah. a great. That's a great way to put it. You 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 work. You use these games to get better, and then your reward is showing it off once you play conference games. And we personally believe that you know. I mean, nobody else believes that we were picked last in the conference to finish last again this year. And and it's funny. Every team we've played so far, whether we scrimmage them or play them, they're like, you, you guys are pretty good. Yeah. They picked you last, and well, we just have, now we have to go out and prove it. Yeah. You know, we just have to show everybody that we're, we're way better than they think we are. Yeah, yeah but, there's nothing. I'll tell you what, I'll take that and just start beating people and prove all those experts wrong. That's, so. the, well, that's the hope. That's all right. The hope. Coach, good to see you again. Great to see you. Go Eagles. Thank you. All right, and of course, uh, we will be back on Wednesday night, uh, 7.30 tip-off, I do believe, against Fairhaven. But then on Saturday, it's a men's and women's doubleheader, yes. one and probably around 3.15, 3.30, yeah, usually about that time yeah. on Saturday as well. We'll have both those games also right here on the Radio Troy Digital Sports.